So we are here with Mr. Venkataraman Agurthi, the MD of Home Ag India at their facility in uh, Bengaluru. Uh, a very good uh, afternoon to you. And starting with my questions, I would be first like to know, like, uh, how was the last two years? What are your observations and how did you put the challenges into opportunities? Good afternoon, Chitra. As an organization for us, the paramount importance was always given to the safety of the employees. And we had a lot of support from our parent group where we were actually creating guidelines on how to manage this kind of situations. And few steps we took was first, as I mentioned, the safety of the employees and how do we take care of their well-being and their family's well-being. We actually moved into working from home and one of the big challenges we found was that no organization has an IT infrastructure to take care of 100 percent of employees working from home so that was the first challenge we had to actually address also some of the things were because it started at uh, one place but it was spreading slowly to other states there were customers who actually had expectations that we will be able to support them but as an organization what we focused on after that was with the leadership team we thought that this is a good opportunity to look inwards look into what are the opportunities we have to make the business more robust and we came up with a real solid time based plans as to which are the processes and systems we want to put in place, what are the opportunities. Small small teams were made to actually work on it and we could actually also uh, slowly start opening up our factories and offices based on the government guidelines, slowly support the customers. and. All of these efforts what we put, uh, we were always sure that maybe we, do, we will not see the results on a short term, but long term we will see that. And if you look at the business per se, I will definitely go by the word what you use that we converted these adversaries to opportunities because 2020 was a record year for Humayag India in spite of being closed for almost 6 to 7 months. We did a record order booking in 2020. And we continue to focus on how do we work on improving our processes systems, using the voice of customer with respect to what we need to actually improve. And most importantly, we continue to stay focused. And the results which came out are there to see. In 2021, we improved our order booking by 38% as compared to 2020. Uh, the team really did a wonderful job. They could live up to these kind of challenges, come out with flying colors. And also a few more things which we could actually add up to the Homag India's uh, offerings was, the first one was that we started becoming the regional and the global hub for multiple things. The first one was the software support. So we support the Asia Pac region from India for the entire software support. We have already put everything in place to start supporting the APAC after sales service hotline support from India. We are supporting through the technical writers for the after sales support for the global teams, the testing of the softwares globally. We have already started supporting on a global sourcing out of India. We are now hiring people for the global engineering support. So to put it in nutshell, yes, I think we actually converted this pandemic and adversaries into a lot of opportunities for Humayag India. And we could build a lot of trust from the customer front, inside our own leadership. And one of the testimonies of that is that we are sitting in this new facility, which was approved during the pandemic. And now we have state of the art facility and with the capacities which can at least grow by four times than what we are today. And we are looking forward to a lot of good things with respect to Omag India. Talking, uh, I am right here sitting at the new facility. Uh, if we can talk a little about this new facility. Okay, so this new facility has been actually planned and is built to suit to our needs. And some of the key things we have been very careful to work on this is, we were very clear that this capacity, the capacity is what we have if we want to keep increasing this facility can take care of it. The second one was, we will keep adding more and more resources who will support globally. So the office can also be doubled than what you are seeing today. This facility has 
the best of the demo and experience centers what you can see comparable with the best in home Act, all the locations and globally so the team is pretty excited after moving into this facility uh, we already are working on a lot of new products coming into India which will not only support the domestic market but support big way on the exports so all in all this facility will actually accelerate our growth we are very sure about it that's very good to know uh, my next question would be on digitalization so if you can talk about homeag and digitalization particularly in this indian region so you are absolutely right there i think digital solutions were always there available and homeag has been a leader for that last two years i think more to do with the challenges the industries were facing it has accelerated the acceptance of digitalization let me put it that way and we have been able to see that uh, as homeag also where a lot of customers have started giving lot more importance to how do they get the real time information and the data irrespective of where they are they need not go physically to where the action is and then it has enabled them to take business decisions which can definitely help them on improving their profitability their growth and very importantly it helps them to scale up as and when they scale up so definitely we are seeing a big uh, boost to the digitalization and it has also reflected in our uh, revenues last year and order bookings and even this year and since we are on digitalization i would also like to add although you would have seen it in the social media uh, tapio Okay. our cloud based it's iot ecosystem. solution we could introduce it last quarter and we are already seeing that there is a lot of interest curiosity and customers trying to get into that so i would only say that digitalization will become the backbone with respect to moving forward for this industry also are you offering any kind of training for this uh, tapio and uh, to the people who are using homeag machinery yes we have uh, two ways we actually train of course on digitalization we train the customers at their locations in their facilities we also conduct trainings in our experience center and since we are on training not only on the tapio or the homa gaix what we give it to the customers but we also run trainings for the machine technicians and supervisors in our demo center so it's an ongoing process and we will continue to do so how do you see the importance of physical meetings the live events uh, if i can also add since india wood is coming up in a few months time so how do you look forward to live events and of course india wood i think meeting in person is a human need and physical interactions will never never be able to be completely eradicated i would say virtual meetings will be there and they are good when you can't go physically but they will not replace physical meetings so in the similar way if you talk about the india wood exhibition or any other exhibition i think they are required because physically meeting makes that connect which you can't generally make on the virtual meetings but where i believe there could be a shift is more and more hybrid model where more technologies will be used so and it might start impacting with respect to the the footfalls what each of the organizations who participate will start coming in so they might have a hybrid model of physically definitely people will be there but they will use technology rather than using bigger and bigger spaces what are the latest offerings uh, homeag has for the indian market so as i mentioned uh, we are working continuously with our business units looking at the current market needs and we did launch couple of new products in the last 24 months we are working on few more products so the overall approach has been what does the domestic market need with respect to how the industry is growing so we work continuously it's a part of our strategy to keep coming out with the products which are more tuned to the local for local but we also work on these products being good enough to be exported to the other countries so you will always keep hearing and even in india would you can wait to see what are the new products which will keep coming in and with respect to the software as i mentioned tapio now has come into india omega oh gaix is already there and there will be few more softwares which 
they are already available in the rest of the world in india we will be more aggressive let it let me put it that way to keep bringing that awareness in the customers that's great we look forward to meet you again at india wood thank you so much for your time mr gurti thank you chitra pleasure speaking to you thank you okay.